Hey, what's happening, brothers and sisters on YouTube? I just want to um, do another short video, you know, get some get some things right, get some things straight. Um, yep, in a bucket. <laughs> All right, uh, what I want to say is today is that um, I want to get some comments that I uh, want to get something straight and correct on my, the comments I made on my last video about a bunch of BS, my last video, but... I said some things about young brothers and sisters out selling, you know, drugs to make a living to survive. And I just want to say is that I don't want to encourage no young brothers and sisters to sell drugs inside the community and outside of the community as well. It's a bad choice, and I think it's the wrong direction to go through. Only thing I was trying to explain was that if brothers and sisters out can't get no opportunity, cannot get no, and be denied of, of a lot of opportunities in seeking employment or shelter or what have you, food or what have you, which uh, most of my people does get turned down, you know, get turned away from. Either um, they be denied or the applications get destroyed, terminated, or they just give a broken promise and say that they will be helped and assist, but they don't. What I'm trying to get my point across is that Yes, I kind of understand and see why some brothers and sisters do sell drugs. I mean, that's the only way. I would rather for them to do that than to go rob a bank to get killed. I don't I don't want them to do both, but, you know, I would rather see them do that because they have a, a good chance of not doing years and years in prison or even losing their life. But it comes a time is that, we do have to survive, no matter what. We have to do something. I mean, rather you, you know, if you want to live or die, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather die like a man than to, you know, live like a, a nobody. But and it com it comes a time when we have to survive on on some things. All right. Um. Second of all, I just want to inform the brothers and sisters that um on YouTube is that. You know, some of my actions that I say, um, I know a lot of you disagree and, and, you know, you thumbs down or some of you just don't reply back. I understand. And, you know, I have to tell each troll. I have to, like, tell them I'm not arguing with them. I'm not in a shout match with them. I'm not getting them worked up and I'm not getting myself worked up. I just want to just let them know that you cannot come on my channel with this nonsense. As you see right now is that YouTube, right all around YouTube right now is having a, a sort of, a, 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 how can I say this, a disease or a virus going around YouTube. This brother's going around YouTube um, harassing and stalking these brothers and sisters, attacking them. And when far as enough to um, threaten one of my brothers on YouTube, saying what he's going to do to his girlfriend and stuff like that. You know, this brother's ignoring this this troll or whoever this, this, this cancer is. Keep ignoring him, keep blocking him, blocking him, blocking him, but the same thing is that he keeps pulling his shit. And now he's going to the point, he's like threatened. And you know, sometimes when you try to threaten or harm or saying that you're going to harm someone's loved one or someone's caring about shit like that been taken very seriously because if somebody um you know threaten me or threaten one of my loved ones or something like that chances are if i see this person it's going to be a whole lot explaining and it probably you know can lead to physical but i don't want it to, to be that way because that's what the people, the media, the um, people I saw our race wanted to see. Same way as on YouTube. These white supremacies and these self-hating black people, even YouTube itself right now is tickled, is getting tickled pink of the words exchange, words, words, harassments, harassments, harassments. And they're setting a perfect example is that, look, Look, look how they turn on each other. Look how they, you know, threaten to harm each other. I mean, to me, that's a dead giveaway. 
That's just showing them how weak we is. And I'm going to say it again. We're not a, a weak, a bunch of, a, a race of weak people. We're from an ancestry of queens and warriors. There's no weak in our, in our bloodline. There's no weak in our bones. But yeah, sometimes our people do act cowardly sometimes on certain things that need to be handled. That's something that's in a, uh, some incident happened in our community or, or something happened. We didn't seen like numerous video footage of white people calling little brothers N words and people just standing there not doing nothing. Gays beating up pregnant women. And you got now, I want to say this because. I remember back then, we used to always see things on the news. We used to always see things on the news, and we were like, damn, you know, white Caucasian people. And I'm not saying all oh, white people, Caucasian people, Mexican, nothing, because some of them don't think that way either. But sometimes you always got a, something sick up in the cabinet. Something's not good. People's bread ain't done up here. And it's the thing is that sometimes we watch things on the news, we like, damn, look at these crazy white people, what they're doing. But now I see crazy things of what my brothers and sisters doing out. And to me, I, I, I figure that we don't have those bragging rights no more. Because I didn't see something that was wicked. Something that was bizarre and 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 it, it embarrassed me, and, and on the same token, it kind of hurt my feelings. Um, I remember, um, sister on YouTube, Jer Ireland, she had put this one video out. Um, she um about this um couple have um stuck this baby inside a washer, and I really don't look at hip hop world star hip hop dot com. To me, it's cancerous and it gives me a headache. I don't watch things like that because that website alone right there, that website alone right there is that it's a laughing stock towards us. People's like, look on there. It's like, look at these N words on here. Look at these niggers. I'm going to say it like this. Look at these niggers, spooks, monkeys, whatever they call us because they call us various names. But they say, look at these N words. Look how they carry themselves. Little kids dancing all grown, looking all grown. You got people giving people other diseases. You got people getting jumped, and you got people woo woo cheering on like the shit's like a main event or something like that. I don't see nothing like that on there. I don't see it amusing. I don't see it funny. I don't see nothing serious about it. Only thing I see like that, that's another, um, another grave that's been dug for one of us right there. You got. Black women's claiming that they need soldiers, thugs, and all that. Which those soldiers and thugs, they're going to be dead or in prison before the summer's end. Before winter start. And, and I don't understand the life of me is that they brag about the damn thing. I don't want my mom to be bragging to her friends that, oh yeah, his daddy, Alan, he's his dad. He's been thugging and he's been... Tearing guys up, ass up, and gambling shacks and all that. Now look at him. He's dead in the penitentiary. You know, some that's nothing to brag about. But I do want to get back to this right here, to this brother right here. I'm back east. I put this baby up in the washer. You have no fucking right to put a child in the washer. It was, it was seen on the camera right there. You put the baby. In. It wasn't like a child just going to step up in the washer and just shut the door like that. You know, some kids can have a mischievous mind and some kids know right from wrong too. They know which hot which water is hot and which is cold. Kids kids are smart too. A kid might not know nothing, but a kid can a kid can count money quick. A kid know what money is. A kid a baby, a kid know who Michael Jackson is. And 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 Michael Jackson could have been way before they time, but that kid gonna know who that man is, who that brother is. But what I'm saying is, brother, you had no right to stick that fucking baby. No, I mean say fucking baby, forgive me. Cause it upsets me. But it doesn't make sense for you to stick a child up in a baby up in a washer. That's something that we don't do. It was on camera, bro. You did it. You need your ass kicked. You need your ass kicked. For eat for every fucking minute that that baby was up stuck up in that in that in that, in that washer right there. 
and you say it's a prank, shit like that is it's not a, a prank, man. Things, it's, things like that is not a fucking prank. You plan with another life. You plan with another life, man. And and a woman and a, and and, a, and the child's mother said that wasn't her right there. That was the father's girlfriend was up in there. But that was that would let you know how irresponsibility, how people are so fucking, excuse me, so irresponsible. Um. Therefore, if something like that happened, and I, and, I, and I hope the mother's looking at this video right here, do not put that child into the father's custody again. Because if he gonna put a child up, and you, if he gonna put your child, your flesh and blood as well as his, put that child in a in a washer. And I'm praying, I, I was I was praying to damnness that this kid, didn't, this baby didn't die. But the baby suffered a little injuries. Now I'm, I'm, I'm thank goodness that the the baby was okay. But and you know that every father, every child needs a father. You know, a, a kid can't cut ties with their father. But I'm gonna say things like this: If the father he can come by and visit that child with his mom, but don't 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 send that child with that kid's father if he gonna sit there and put that baby up in the washer like that because if you're gonna put a kid on the washer what else you think that this brother would do our what's the hell wrong with our people what the hell i mean some 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 sometimes these brothers and sisters even people as well do not deserve to have kids because they're so irresponsible you don't want to pay, pay child support Half of the time, you don't want to pick the kid up on both sides. You, I mean, don't want to put clothes on the kid's back. Child support come up, which that's going to happen likewise. No ones don't want to pay. I mean, recently you got his brother seeking for sympathy because he can father 30 kids. That's just letting Jewish, white people, and everybody else know that, hey, look, that's the reason why welfare offices and stuff like that is still standing strong because of stuff like this. And really, in reality, it's not a lot of black people in the welfare system. You have more poor whites and poor Hispanics in the welfare system than anything. But like I was saying is that half of them are, do not need kids. Put it like that. And and I go for the sisters as well because a lot of sisters are too busy trying to go look for Mr. Right when they, all the thing they're going to find is Mr. Wrong. And then they go out to nightclubs, out to nightclubs, and inspect their siblings to watch their kid. That's irresponsible right there. If you had that kid, you lay down, you carry that kid for nine months, you're supposed to cherish that kid. A child is very sacred. A child is very sacred. You're supposed to be there all times. That's why I'm saying some of these sisters and some of these brothers that grew up in the same year that I grew up in, I want to ask them what the hell is wrong? What went wrong? Because something like this ain't supposed to happen. I thought they supposed to have better sense of, up, up in this hard drive, in the hard drive they got up there. And nowadays, and now you got sisters sleeping with kids. Oh, gosh. Leo, Leo, one. I'm out of here. One love.